What's up everybody, it's your boy Trayvon here with Set Talk TV and today I'm going to go over 7 fragrances, my top 7 cheapy fall fragrances for 2023. Now these fragrances you probably haven't seen before, some of you are curious to know what they smell like, but I'm here to shed some light on all 7 of these. One of them you probably didn't heard time and time again, you know, on the way that it smells, how it performs, but I digress. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. So we're gonna start off with this one from Vacanable. This is Vacanable Riviera Eau de Parfum. There you go. This fragrance here, absolutely stunning. Absolutely amazing, amazing. Smells very, very good. Almost like halfway to niche quality in terms of smell, if you will. For the bargain band price, of like between 20 and 30 bucks this is a stale banger of a fragrance let me tell you this smells awesome in the opening you get this smoky fruity woodsy scent then the, the woodsiness is like a pencil shaving type of a woodsiness that smells niche quality to me and it's just very high quality smelling when it in terms of that smokiness and that woodsy note that's inside of here because it has some gayak wood in here which smells amazing. A lot of warmth, a lot of smokiness, and a hint of sweet fruitiness at the same time. I bought this last year, and I did a, a full review on this one, uh, as, as well as I think the original of this. I don't know if the original is, the other one is a flanker of this one, but anyway, I bought this last year because I was looking all over the place for this one because I did have the original, which is a more more of a fresher take on this one. It smells like I saw all chrome, but I digress. Anyway, it was other reviewers that uh, reviewed this. It's, this one doesn't have a lot of hype. You know, it's like got reviews here and there, but you know, based on the other reviewers that said that this one is bomb. It smells amazing, so dope. And I, it just intrigued me to try to hunt this bad boy down until I lucked up around the holiday season last year and found this one. This is backup bottle worthy. Let me tell you, this, it has a amazing, great smoky apple that's so captivating, so smooth, so just absolutely just incredible. I just love how the, the I love the way that this smells. I'm stumbling over my words because I'm lost for words. This is amazing. Yes, sir, from the house of Accountable, Riviera, EDP. If you want to take me up on this fragrance, you can find this at like Ross Dress for Legs for Less Marshalls, but mainly Ross because that's where I got this one. And this is high quality for a cheapy bargain bam price and it's really, really good for the fall. Has a lot of warmth and fruitiness if that's what you're into. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, Lord, this is great. So up next we got from Paris Hilton, we have Gold Man Rush. Very, very tall bottle, very, very tall skinny bottle, but I dig how the bottle looks. You know, fingerprint magnet, but it is what it is. So this one in particular, I think I got this in a gift set at Burlington and I was very unsure about picking this one up because due to the fact that I don't have a lot of Paris Hilton fragrances in my collection, only two. And this was, I believe, my first Paris Hilton fragrance that I got. And I was there and I was like, you know what? I couldn't find anything else that was uh, on the shelf. So I thought like, well, this is the only one that's on the shelf. I don't want to uh, leave out of here empty handed. I didn't drive all the way to Burlington for no reason. So let me just cop something. That was the best decision I ever made in terms of this one right here because you would look at this and think that it is just generic, cheap smelling, but let me tell you, this is a very warm, fruity, smooth, creamy vanilla fragrance. Crowd pleasing, captivating, just easy on your nose, it's just so appealing, this fragrance is. It's mind blowing because my, my expectation of this would be a mess. And you, if you were to see this, you would probably think that it would be a mess and it wouldn't amount to anything. But I'm telling you, this fragrance is amazing. Very warm, sweet, smooth vanilla. You know, has a dry sweetness as well with a little bit of a, 
you know, green spice to it, just a little bit like a green fresh spice to it. That's like an undertone of this. This is amazing for what it uh, for the price and who it's made by and what it's going for in the rack stores. In a gift set, this is like I think like 20, 30 bucks. You get this, a travel, as well as a uh, I think a body spray or a, a shampoo or some type of body lotion or something like that. You get in a gift set with this one. If you see this anywhere for a good price, I wouldn't pay 50 or 60 dollars for it. No, 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 absolutely not. But like I said, for a good price. $20, $30 around there in a gift set, in a gift set. Look, this would be a good staple of a cheapie for the fall. If you're looking for something that's easy to wear, a little bit easier to pull off. If you're looking for compliments on for a cheap bargain band price and you see this one, this would be a good pickup in my opinion. This fragrance also gives off like a sweet drop powderiness to it as well. And it's meshed in very well with that vanilla. In terms of that vanilla and that lavender, that those notes do very well with each other and it does a great deal in terms of this fragrance. Just an amazing smelling fragrance. If you see this again, just pick this up. Gold Man Rush, or wait, Gold Rush Man. Ladies and gentlemen, from the house of Paris Hilton, this is a banger, yes indeed, yes indeed. So this next fragrance is a little bit of a dope reveal because you might have seen this like lingering around like TJ Maxx or Marshalls here and there. And uh, the price on this is phenomenal as well as the performance on this is phenomenal. For the price that it's going for, it's outrageous. And I don't know where where this, uh, this fragrance is made by, who is it from, but anyway, from the house of unknown, this is Ombre EDP. It says Eau de Cologne, but on the sticker at the bottom of it is very, very faint and faded. It says EDP, so a little bit of a false advertisement on this bottle, I guess, if I'm not mistaken. But this fragrance I got uh, from TJ Maxx for $13 and some change, and this fragrance here is amazing. It's very, very good, and it is a dupe of hold on it is a dupe of Dolce and Gabbana the one EDP now if you were to look at these two bottles they strongly resemble each other in terms of the coloration of the bottle and the juice that's inside of it but when I tell you this one is a stronger version of the Dolce and Gabbana the one EDP a lot of people have been saying that they have performance issues, you know, projection issues and stuff like that out the out of the original Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP. But when I picked this up and I smelled it inside of the rack store, immediately I knew exactly uh, what it was a clone of. And this is a more stronger, long-lasting version of this. <laughs> Not this. This. However, this one is a little bit, you know, a little bit on the synthetic side. I hate using that word, but it is what it is. You know, the Dolce & Gabbana is a little bit more high quality, obviously. But this one is no slouch either because whatever synthetic vibe that you get out of this that I had, you know, it doesn't last that long. You know, it, it goes away quite quickly on your skin. But after that, you know, that familiarity to that the one EDP starts to really really captivates you really 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 brings you in into that love of a fragrance that you might have for the original it takes the original and makes it a little bit more powerful and a little bit more long lasting and a little bit more enjoyable at the same time however i don't know what the notes is on this one only thing i know is it's a clone of the one edp and i'm here to tell you if I'm pretty sure everybody knows what the one EDP smells like so just take that and Amplify it and make it into slightly halfway towards a beast mode of a fragrance. This is amazing smells so good Ooh, When you smell on the atomizer, you do get a little bit of an atomalic not an atomalic uh, alcoholic uh, Type of a twinge to it, but don't let that stop you if you were to see this in a wild if you see this in the wild pick it up you know obviously you can test this before you buy it and if you don't like it you may i mean hey 
that's up to you everybody's taste is different so to those of you who are interested and you find this during the holiday season around the fall time pick it up if you see it anywhere pick it up and test it for yourself i love this okay up next i will never ever ever stop re recommending this fragrance for the fall even in winter time you know the early stages of the winter time the winter time would choke this bad boy out but i would never ever stop recommending this fragrance because it's so good even though it has performance issues it will always be in my top always so i digress from the house of calvin klein we have ck1 shock ladies and gentlemen as you all know this one is a banger of a fragrance this one smells so good sweet warm tobacco with a little bit of powderiness as well as a citrusy undertone that's warm and captivating that will ring your bells quite nicely in your notes this is amazing this is so good to the point where i went to nordstrom rack and ran across a 6.7 ounce bottle of CK1 Shock. So I had to get a backup bottle of the 3.4. Is it a 3.4? Yep, a 3.4. Seduction in a bottle. Compliments in a bottle. Joy and love in a bottle. This has no business smelling this good for a CK fragrance not to bash uh, Calvin Klein because Calvin Klein does have some bangers out there but this one is the best fragrance that one of the best fragrance that he ever came out with and he needs to make other concentrations or any other flankers of this particular one because my goodness this is good it's that warm like tobacco mixed in with that that cardamom that's inside of it with a little bit of that um citrusy undertone that warms it up making it a little bit more fruity <sighs> you already know the vibes you already know where i'm coming with this buy it if you see it just buy it just amazing smelling fragrance from the house of calvin klein ladies and gentlemen you got ck1 shock and it will shock you when you smell this if you're into like warm sweet tobacco fragrances with a little bit of powderiness and a tiny bit of fruitiness in the top get this get this try it out for yourself you might like it so up next we have ooh we ooh we up next we got from the house of banana republic Whew. Tonka bean and tobacco, or tobacco and tonka bean. This is, this fragrance here, oh my goodness. This fragrance that I have in my hands has the nerve to have two dope fruity notes in the top, which is plum and pear. Pear gives it like that fresh, like dope fruitiness. Plum is like more sensual more seductive, dark, rich, fruity accord that comes from that plum that is absolutely phenomenal. It has tobacco in it that gives it like a sweet, warm touch. That vanilla gives it that creamy, smooth, dry sweetness in terms of that, in terms of the, you know, the tonka bean coming behind that, making this fragrance very rich and fruity and just captivating and edible at the same time. Gourmati, if you will. This one for like 20, well, in my area is 20 bucks in certain uh, rack stores, but recently it, they added, they kind of upped the price up on this in the rack stores. I think it's like, you know, 2250 or 2150, but needless to say, regardless, nonetheless, this one right here is worth every penny. When I tell you that this smells very, very high quality, to me, in my opinion, this fragrance in a twenty, like for twenty dollars and some change, this fragrance smells niche quality. It it should be niche quality priced for how good this smells. It is a steal and robbery to get this fragrance on the way that it smells for the price that it's going for in the rack stores. I don't care what nobody say. This is like niche quality in the bottle for great for how great this smells tremendously good 
I love this scent. I will forever have this in my top fall fragrances. Each and every year, each and every year, this will be in my top because this is amazing. Out of the whole Banana Republic uh, line of this fragrance, this is number one. You know, it's not versatile. You know, you can't wear it in all seasons. You can wear it in like, you know, fall and winter time. That's it, that's the only drawback. You can't wear it in all seasons. But if you wanna wear it in all seasons, break the rules, it doesn't matter. You know, who's to say that you cannot wear this in the summertime or in the springtime? Hey, do what you do. But specifically, this is too warm and too sweet for high heat situations. But I digress. From the house of Banana Republic, you've got ta uh, tobacco and tonka bean. Ladies and gentlemen, focus, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an amazing smelling fragrance. If you were to find this one in the wild, pick this one up. You will not regret it. Hopefully you don't, because everybody tastes is different. So up next from the House of Banana Republic, this one is no slouch either. This one is a banger just like the tonka bean and tobacco or tobacco and tonka bean. But anyway, from the House of Banana Republic, we have dark cherry and amber. Ladies and gentlemen, this fragrance right here is just as dope as the tonka bean, well, tobacco and tonka bean fragrance that I just got done ranting about. This one is just as dope. This fragrance is a warm, floral, somewhat of a sour, deep, just pungent cherry note that is just dark and mysterious. Dark and somewhat feminine, but it's unisex at the same time. The fellas, you can uh, pull this one off quite a bit if this is what you're into, this type of a fragrance, but it is very floral, it's sweet, has a dark, mysterious cherry note that's inside of here. Warm with a little bit of woods, just a little bit of woods, but not too invasive and not too noticeable. But it does give off like that floral, dark cherry, like pink peppercorn type of a smell that's dark. And it's just so edible. It's like gourmandy because it has a note of uh, pray, uh, it has a note of praline in it, giving it like that, you know, that strong, bold, like balsamic type of a warmth and accord to this fragrance. This fragrance here, I would not choose over a tobacco and taco bean though, but this would be my second runner up in terms of this line, in terms of, you know, like warm winter, like fall and winter type of a scent. This one here is a beast. And I highly recommend not overspraying with this one as well as the other one, the uh, tobacco and tonka bean. I say go easy on the sprays because those two, for the price that it's going for, like 20, 20 some dollars and some change, the performance on here is nice. Really, really nice. I love the way that this smells. The cherry in here is kind of sour. You know, it's kind of sour, but deep, rich, and powerful at the same time. The cherry in here is very, very noticeable. It's like the main player in this fragrance, hence the name Dark Cherry and Amber. Very fruity, dark, and mysterious, and warm when it comes to that amber, because amber is in this fragrance, obviously. Hence the name and the, the title of the fragrance. But anyway, this one here is amazing as well. Fellas, if this is what you're into, you know, unisex fragrances, and you don't want to spend like a whole bunch of money, for the fall time and the seasons like to come fall and winter time and you don't want to break the bank this here will be easy on your pockets easy on your nose and you will have a great time and performance with this bad boy so if you see this one in a wild at burlington's or anywhere for a good price this is the one for you so last but not least i recently got this one banger of course banger on top of a banger of course and it's a clone from the Dolce and Gabbana Velvet Collection line. This is Velvet Collection Ombre Sun from the house of Milestone. This one smells amazing and some of you that disagree and it's not your cup of tea which is fine you know but to the ones that it is your cup of tea when it in terms of like that warmth and sweetness and gourmandiness that you get out of here Man, amazing. From it's a 
from the price of $15 and some change, if I haven't mentioned it already in my review, I'm pretty sure that I did, but if I didn't, here it is. Man, this one here, very, very warm. Very, very warm and balsamic. Smooth vanilla, sweet, just warm, spicy. The warm spiciness is not too dominant. It's not too invasive. It's not too aggressive. You know, it's smooth, chill, and calm, and it's a sweetheart on your nose. It's a sweetheart on your skin. The way that this one smells is just an amazing, warm, smooth saddlewood of a scent. A little bit of woodiness, a little bit more uh, of a smooth, attractive, modernized, masculine, masculine accord that's inside of here that push you into the realms of a, uh, I'm, I failed to mention this in my full review. This one to me is a clone of, what's that Parfums de Mali? Uh, what is that? I wanna say Pegasus. I wanna say this is a clone of Pegasus with that warm richness because I wore a sample of it like the other day and did a, uh, was it Pegasus? I'm not sure. When I edit this video, I'll put it like right here. But my thing is, this is a great fragrance for the price of $15 and some change. You know, if you're into like that warm balsamic, you know, gourmati, like smooth vanilla, like sweet, captivating scents that can garner you compliments, if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more easy on everybody else's nose, if you if you want to please the crowd, to the people that don't care about pleasing the crowds, this is not for you. But people that do want to, this is a good one for you. Yeah, so I digress. I'm always digressing. But this one is a great fragrance and a banger of a fragrance for the for what for what it's going for. It is awesome. Yes, Lord, from the house of Milestone. And Milestone is fantastic. Fantastic house. Ladies and gentlemen, Villa Collection Ombre Sun. So that's all that I have for Scent Talk TV, ladies and gentlemen. As always, you know what to do. You gotta like, comment, share, and subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you do not miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be safe out there. Be blessed and have a good one. I'm out of here. Peace.